Hello, Acid Burn, doing a review. This time, I want to do something different. I want to tell you a wonderful story what happened when uh, Kevin Eastman, the makers of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I want you to hear my story because to me it's the most exciting and shocking that ever happened in my life. And I want to share this with you, and of course, you know, the fans out there who well, probably met Kevin Eastman too. So we all have our stories to talk about. So let's we'll start off with this one. This is for Jonathan. He's from Colorado and one of your big fans. Hey, Hi, Jonathan. Thanks for being such a big fan. Sorry, Kevin, you get this really nice to be here. I just thought it was just for you. So let me start off by saying, you know, I'm from Colorado and my girlfriend is from California. So we were doing this whole long distance relationship over the internet and the cell phone and the microphone off the computer and um, one day my cousin just decided to come over to visit the family and she saw my collection of my Ninja Turtles and she saw my tattoos and she said well hey you know I got this friend who's um, the sister of the woman who's dating Kevin Eastman and you know that's that's like big news right there for me and like wow really holy crap that's awesome yeah, so if you want, she says, you know, you could give me your comic book, any of your comic books that you want signed by Kevin Eastman. And my mouth dropped, and I'm like, this can't be true, because I'm used to people saying that they could do this for me, or, oh yeah, we got turtle stuff for you, and you know, nobody really keep their words, I guess you could say. But it's my cousin, so it's like, I trust her, so you know, okay, cool. So I gave her uh, my comic book that I want signed. And she kept it, and I haven't heard for a week, so I was getting kind of worried, like, oh my god, well, you know, I hope it's okay. She called me up, you know, because she already went back home from Bo to go to Boise, Idaho, that's where she's from. And she called me up and said, hey, I gave you your comic book to uh, my friend here, and she's going to go see Kevin Eastman right now. So I'm on the microphone with my girlfriend, and we're just, you know, chatting away. And then I get a strange phone call, I don't recognize the number, and I'm like, hmm, okay, so I finally picked it up, and this guy's, you know, asking for John Acosta, so I thought, you know, maybe it's for my dad, because my dad's name is John also, so I told my girlfriend I'd be right back, so I was going to hand the phone to my dad, because he's downstairs, and I'm upstairs, so I asked I ask him, you know, who is this, and he's, oh, this is Kevin Eastman, and I'm over like, eh, what? <laughs> you know, I'm, I didn't, I froze up, and I'm like, you mean Jonathan Acosta? That's, that's my name, and he's like, yeah, and that's who I'm trying to get a hold of. I was like, oh shit, I'm sorry for cussing, but I can't help it, you know? So I was like, okay, so I'm like, this is him, and he's like, hey man, I mean, I didn't expect you to pick up, I was going to leave a message on your answer machine. But, here you are, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, here I am, you know, I, a squeaky voice, I mean, oh my god, and I didn't know how to react to this, it never even happened to me. So, I went in the other room, and I started talking to him, and, you know, when you're a kid, you have all these questions, you know, I guess you call them the quote-unquote nerd questions, because you have all these things built up, and how this could happen, or how is this possible, and all that, but... I ask him questions like foot soldiers, human, or robot. He says, you know, the original stories is that foot soldiers were human and they had to change it to robotic because, you know, they can't have Leonardo slicing a uh, human in half. So they had to make it, you know, keep the violence under. And I was like, well, that's kind of crap because I think that'd be pretty cool to see as a cartoon a guy getting sliced in half by Leonardo. And he, he started laughing because I said that. And then the other question is that is there has there ever been really violence in um, 2003 that you wanted in? He said, well, there's one that we did, but a girl got fired because what happened there's a scene when Leonardo and Shredder were going to duel with each other with the swords. They fly in the air, boom! You don't know what happened until they land on their feet. Then Shredder's head starts rolling off. They didn't want that. Well, the girl didn't want that. Everybody else is like, well, we want that, you know. But. She starts arguing with uh, the crew members and all that, so I, well, she got fired, and they kept it, and we all saw it on the episode. Oh my god, it was like I said, so much questions. Um, the other question was, uh, what was up with Venus? Why was there a female turtle? 
He said he has nothing to do with that. Uh, what happened is um, the Fox crew member says that, well, of course, the female wanted, we should have a female turtle for the female fans. And I'm like, why? We have April O'Neil, and you know, and they all, all the girls I remember playing in turtles with, they all want to be April O'Neil. Not one of them say, I want to be a female turtle, you know, nothing like that. But the last question is, is there going to be a live action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? He said, in his own words, yes, there will be. This will be a live action. It's going to be like, well, the turtles are going to be like how they did with the, the original movie Hulk. For right now, we'll be saying Avatar. So they're going to be realistic. They're going to look real. And April and Casey and Baxter Stockman and, yes, Kyra and um, Shredder are going to be live action. Like live, real people who actually will play them. So I was like, oh my god, this is freaking awesome. So all the stuff I've been reading about, you know, I finally hear it from the guy himself. Um, so they're going to also put in, um, of course, Splinter's going to be animated too. And also the Mousers are going to be in it. I don't know who else is going to be. I don't know if Han is going to be in it. He didn't give out information on that one. But the main thing is, later on in the future... Kevin said that there will be a live action movie coming out. His own words. So, to finish this off, he, you know, said, well, I'm going to send you your comic book back and two other things. And I'm like, oh my god. So he had to go back to his dinner. He uh, gave the stuff to um, his, his girl, his girl's, you know, the sister. And uh, she gave it to my cousin Keely, and my cousin Keely gave it to me. And I was so excited about it, I was like, oh my gosh, so I opened it up, and I looked at my comic book, and he brought um, Raphael on it, and said to my number one fan, and then the other one is like a biography on how all this whole story started, the Kevin Eastman toys, you know, with Peter Lord, and comic books, and so on and so on, just oh, awesome, it has original artwork on it, and he says, you know, keep it rock and roll, woohoo, on air, with Leonard on it. And of course the autograph that one. And then last but not least is The Body Count. The most bloodiest comic book of all Ninja Turtles ever. And he signed it. And it is so freaking amazing. I'm just looking through it. I'm like shocked. And I, I want to frame it. But you know, I want to bring it here when I came here to call, uh, California. But I was too afraid it was going to get torn up or something. I was so afraid. So I had to figure out what to bring it over here. So to finish um, my Kevin Eastman story, um, the one day there was a comic book, you know, a free comic book of the day or something like that. I wasn't in California, I was still in Colorado, and, you know, my girlfriend is like, well, I could go over there and get something signed for you, and then, you know, send it to me. Or she could keep it for me until I visit her again, or, you know, until I get up here. So, she went up there, it was like a May 2nd, 2009, Los Angeles, a comic book store. And he, I guess, um, you know, she was there in line. There was a big line waiting for Kevin Eastman to sign her stuff. She got me um, those those sticks, you know, those neutral sticks. But back in our days, it was considered cigarette sticks, but they're candy sticks. So anyways, he, he, she's taking pictures, which that's the pictures you're seeing of Kevin Eastman. She's taking those pictures of. Finally got up there. She recorded, which I show you on the very first of this uh, review. And she took a picture of it, and that, now the comic book of the original story is autographed. I couldn't think her much more on that, and I was like, oh my god, ah, you know, and she was really, she liked it, she was excited about it too, to know that this is Kevin Eastman, and she told her, you know, she's been watching his stuff, his cartoons since she was a little girl too, you know, so we all grew up with the stuff, and when you grew up with something and you see the maker, you know, close, you know, you're going to get excited. So that's my uh, Kevin Eastman um, review, and God, I hope he's watching this, and I hope I get to meet you in, up in person, not just on the phone. I want to meet Peter Lord and so on, so on, and so on of the makers of Ninja Turtles. So until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching, and happy hunting, everyone. Bye.